Hello and welcome to the Conan video and today I am going to be starting a let's play on the loads Super Mario 3D World so it's going to load a little bit otherwise we can get started so I'm going to be using the game pad Ooh, spooky Alright, so I guess I have a new save file right here. Do and I'm gonna be Toad for the whole run. Oh, well, let's go. Cutscene. No, there's a pipe. Whatever will we do? There we go, we fix the pipe. Perfect. Oh well, look at it, it's a fairy. Help! Now you're kidnapped by my other friend fairies. Please help. Burn. Let me out. What oh, Bowser's out of here? Why, why is Peach being so dumb? She's going after him. We just last one. Well, off we go. Oh, we lost everyone else. It's us to tow now. Everyone else abandoned us. We lost them. We don't know where they went. So we're gonna go straight into World 1 1. I don't know what it's called because I won't say. Um, Super Battle Hat Hill. Alright, so it's basically like any Mario 3D game. Um, you can run, you can jump, you can do ground pounds, like so. And this game introduced a new power up the bell, the cat suit. Right here. Um, so yeah, this power up's pretty neat. And then you can like do a dive, you can, um, you can scratch, scratch, scratch. And you can do a dive like so. Um, I am gonna try to 100% complete this game. So let's go. Oh yeah, and there is also an item storage right there. So if you have more than one player, you can have more spots. And um, so yeah, you have a spot for each player. Um, and there's a little secret up here. I don't really know why you want to go there, but here's the collectibles for this, it's the green stars. Um, I am trying 100% to complete this besides the, the character stamps. I will probably not grab those. Because, yeah, I'm only playing with Toad. So, yeah. Um, so here's a lookout spot, which you can use to see other things and see where, like, the goal is. Um, as Bunny chases, but Toad's so fast, he can just catch up to it. A little pond here, you can swim in it. Pew pew. Um, you can go in this pipe. Which, right there is the other collectible for this game. Which are the stamps. Which, there's one per of those. One of those per level, and then there's three green stars. Per level. Oh. So, yeah. You add more time, you find the fox, and then there's Mega Rabbit that has a mega mushroom, which is going down there. Which, the Mega ma Mushroom allows you to grow big. When you destroy all the stuff, then ground pound, and there's the final green star down here. 
see if you push the mines button, the select button, you can get your other item there. And here's also a secret down here. You can break the bricks and you can get a one mushroom. Like so, and I'm just gonna grab this other cat suit. Um, right here, you can either go in the pipe or climb up. Of course, the climbing up is more fancy because, you know. And then the cats, and then the other thing that you can do per level is get the golden flag full, which you have to get right up top. Which, it's actually super easy as the cat because they just climb up like I just did. So, it's very easy. Then shows your score and then the stamp, which we got the Cat Mario stamp right there. There we go. We got three green stars. And we beat that one. Right, next up is, and it always saves. Um, next up is 1-2 Koopa Troopa Cave. Oh, let's get into this one. So, right off the bat, there is a Koopa, which Koopas you can jump on and then get the shell and then come out of the shell. And then you can, like, throw the shell and do all that kind of stuff. And then, let's go down into the cave. Okay, so, I would normally just keep both cat suits, but... Just because I want to show you guys all the power-ups, I'm mean, going to get the fire flower. The fire flower allows you to get fire. So, and then, yeah, so it hits enemies and then they, oh, oops. I mean, you got a lot of coins there. You want to, um, pipe there. So that would just leave you, leave you up there. Um. Um, I'm gonna get the cat suit back. Better. I don't think there's actually any stars in this portion. No. Okay, let's go into the next. Wait. Okay. We're going in. Here's a star right here. That should be yep, the first one. There. Oops. Of course, you can jump up over in the clouds, right down here. Um, I'm going to the bricks, and then here's the checkpoint. Of course, you can blow on the game pad to see uh, the hidden block, which there is a hidden fire flower. We're not going to grab. Alright, this is also something that is new, which we destroyed the way up. There, but when you go climb, it is a little bonus mystery house. So you have to do the challenge. So, like this one is defeat the Koopas and then you get a green star. Well, who's that? Oh, right here, you can go up here only with the cat suit and do a secret little portion up here. I don't know if there's actually. Yeah, if you wanted to, you could go from the clouds as well. I'll just go way over here into the pipe, which it is a little secret gold pipe. We're going to go in, and we can get a ton of coins, so I'm going to grab all the shells. And you don't want to get hit. Then you like stay up on these blocks so you don't get hit, and then you just get a lot of coins. Okay, let's go back through. Which there is nothing down there. And let's go through. A little loop de loop if I want to, but I don't really care. Um, right here, there's a little secret path that you can go up. Right here. So, then you go in this pipe, and there is the stamp for this level. Okay, we're 
I'm going to continue on. Here's a stack of Goombas, which you can just ground pound from up top. Or to that gives you the last green star. Okay, and we went to the flagpole. Koopa. And we got up to the tap. There's level two. There we go. Yep, and the stamp was just a coin. Uh, um, there is a mushroom house there, which that only gives you power ups, which I don't need, so I'm just gonna not go to it right now. Well, here's World 1-8, it's Charge and Chuck. Charge and Chuck blockade, so you just need to defeat all of the Charge and Chuck Chucks. Fire flower is probably better for this one. So I can just bam one of them with fireballs. And I got hit. Whoops. That's not my cat back. And then I get, these give you one green star. Like so. Well, there's that one. Those ones are pretty easy. No stamp in there. There you go. Okay, next up is the, I forgot what this one, I think it's called like, it's 1-3 Mount Bean Hole. Yep, so let's do this one. So this one, you can climb up the trees, and then there's the Pixie Fairy. And up this tree is the first green star. Uh, yeah, you wanna do that if you wanna get all the green stars. Uh, do the frog plank. Yeah, let's do that. And I missed. Which, if you do that, that's a paddle block, which destroys stuff around it. Here is a secret little one up. Pretty cool. Alright, and then up here, we can destroy that guy, and then we can open up this to a pipe. You go inside the pipe. And then it is another little room. This one you have to get all the blue coins. Like so. And then, then this should be the last one. And then you get the second green star from doing that. Okay, and then there's also the stamp right here. Go up here and then destroy that. So you can your way up. Okay. And let's go up here and then you can climb up these walls. Oh, whoops. I messed up. Um, then you can climb up the walls and then you can hit this as a cat. And you want to climb up this so you can make it to this little cloud. It's gonna launch you up. Then this gives you a star. Which it's a little speedrun thing. Which this, when you make it to the end, gives you the last green star. Like that. Then also if you climb back up here. And then go up this one. Oh whoops. Gotta climb up the full first. You wanna climb back up the full and then go all over here. You can find a secret one up. Yep. Yeah. Here can you do a speed run and just avoid that guy. This is like a mini boss fight. That's very easy. All you gotta do is hit him and then you just hit him again and then he's gone. And then last is the little guy there. And then, you know, this one you have to use the cat suit to get up to the top of the flagpole to get the golden flag. There's that course. 
which the stamp is a cat Roomba. Okay, nice. That next up is a split pathway. So I can go either way, which I'm gonna do both. I think the, the fleshy one. I think this one is first. Yeah, fleshy is plunging falls. So let's do this one. So on this one, you have to ride Plessy. And all that stuff, so. So, grab the rings for coins, like so. And there's the first ring star right there. There we go, we got. This one, you can go either way. You can go up top or at bottom. There's red coins, which if you get all the red coins, you get, uh, I think if you don't have a power up, you get a 1-up. I think in this course, you automatically just get a 1-up. But, sadly, I missed one. And then if you go up here, you can get a 1-up. And then, there's actually a split path, which makes you... This, this course you can't get 100% without playing it twice because you miss the stamp or you miss the star going with the waterfall. You actually have to play this one twice. We have ourselves a star, which makes us invincible. So we just hit everything. In this one you want to go straight and then jump, which I missed, which luckily I have to play it again anyways to get the stamp. So I'll just get it on the second pet. Second one that we do it in. There we go. We go down. And then we just need to make it on the flag pole. There's two points down there for the grab it, but they're not needed. And there we go. We got that one done, which we're just going to hop back in and do it again to get the stamp and star that I missed. Which now, if I want to, I can go in Bowser's Castle, which you actually need to have enough stars to go in, which I think is from only 10 or something like that, so, yeah. You don't really need to worry about anything, even if you miss any of those stars. Yeah, so you have to go back on and just redo the whole course. And just speed around. You can't really speed run this one. I'll go the other way. And I'll hit in path here. I'll just try to go all the different paths. So, you know, like this way. I get a lot of coins. So. And then for this one, you want to go not inside the waterfall, but the other way. Like this. And then jump over this guy. <laughs> okay, I messed up. Whoops. Then if you die, you automatically respawn with the mushroom. Yeah. Yeah, you can go faster if you push up as well, I think. I'll try to get the one up this time. Yes, it's a one up. Let's go around them. <laughs> And this time I'm actually going to try, because I'll just try to avoid them. There we go. And you have to go all the way around, so you get the stamp. There we go, we got the stamp, so all I need to do this time is not miss the star. And then we're good. 
You want to jump. And this time we got it. So yeah, this one you have to play at least twice. But I'm just gonna get my cat to bath as well. Yeah, even if you just fail the jump, you know, just make a backup of the cat suit, so it's pretty nice. There we go, we got that level done. Right there. We got a plessy badge, which is pretty neat. There we go. Which, there's a slot machine, which I'm just going to ignore, because all you get is coins from that, so. And next up, we're going to do this one. 1-5 one Switch Scramble Circuit, so. Let's go ahead and do this one. Yeah, every time you jump, or... Yeah, every time you jump on one, it switches. So oh, yeah, you only want to hit them each once. So, and then here's, oh, uh, whoops. I totally tried to get that. Do that on purpose. Yeah, those are little bee things. Uh, there we go, we got this gate done. At this time, you, you do not want to go in that. Or you either need a cat suit or you can just wall jump. But if you have a cat suit, you can just climb up the wall and don't you know, worry about jumping. Here, I don't think there's any. Yeah, nothing back there. Here's the checkpoint. We're just gonna try to get all these buddies out. This one then. There we go. Make it over here. Which here is the um, red coin ring. So we're gonna do that. We get all the coins. Or this time it gets the fire flower, which is pretty nice because there's a, a little box challenge thing. So this gives you a fire flower, so yeah, if you get the, the ring for it, you're good. The fire flower right there. And this one you can kill to make. Oh, whoops. <laughs> and then we can go all the way around. And let's grab the star. There we go. We go around though. Um, did I miss the stamp? I don't think I did. Oh no, I think I don't. No, it's up there still. I'm gonna do all the little platforms again. And jump, jump here, jump there, jump there, and then this platform comes down, which you can do a wall jump like so, or you can use the cat to climb up there. There we go. Got that level one. There we go. We got a cat battle stamp there. Okay. There we go. Got that done. Which now we need and then for each world there is either a Captain Toad level or a, a mystery cube level. Well, this time there's a Captain Toad level. So this one there is five green stars that you have to collect. There's always five. And then, then you get those five green stars. You can control the camera by this. Alright, there we go. So he, Captain Toad cannot jump. Put a green star right there. One right there. We can just ride this. 
his backpack is too heavy, so he can't run. Um, jump, I mean. Um, then there's two little paths here. One leads to Ring Star. Another one leads to the top. Little fuzzy beetles in the void. You have to blow on those little platforms. Uh, that. I think this one you have to play with the, the gamepad as well. And there we go. We got the cap fill level done. Pretty easy. This one's the easiest one because it's the first one. There we go. We got the cap fill level done. And then we can go to Bowser's Castle for the first world. But I think I think this one's actually only ten stars, so I think it's ten. Yeah, ten. You need ten green stars to enter it, so yeah, you need to collect the green stars. Now let's go, and we can, if we get this one, we say it's that little pixie fairy there. Pretty neat. And let's go inside the castle. Alright. And use these little soccer balls to bombs. Like, Ooh. And destroy the Goombas. Um, here's a star ring, which you want to get because this, if you, when you get all the eight ones, you get the green star. Which then you can go over here and grab a cat suit. I don't think there's anything up here at all. No, this is a quad. Okay, so let's continue on. We have moving platforms right here. This one, you need to use a bomb to get in there, which gives you the stamp. Which these Goombas can't fit in because they're too tall. So, yeah. And then we can move these platforms up, like so. And flying up them. I don't know if this is this place. But here's the second green star. Let's use some flops. Another cat bell if you need that. And then you can climb up the wall or go through the second swamp. So this one you either need the cat suit or fire flower of any power up basically, or you can use the soccer bomb. We don't have any of that. And then finally we have this a wall of bricks. Which you can you know use the soccer ball to get through, or you can probably just climb up with the cat suit. And then we can make it to Bowser. Which is in a car. Which I have no idea why. It, I don't know. I don't think this car is in Mario Kart for some reason. It should be. But I don't remember seeing it. Well, all you need to do is hit the bombs back at him. The soccer ball bombs. But yeah. That's all you need to do, which is easy if you have a cat suit, otherwise you just kick him. I think you have to jump on him and then throw him at him. If you don't have it. Um, he's gonna spit fire out. He's done with that face. If the... Oh no. Oh yeah, you can just kick him. Um... If they land in the fire, they automatically they become the red bombs, which you only need him three times for this one. And then, then you win. He falls in the water. And his car, okay, I don't know where he actually landed, so there's water below us, but sure. You can collect all these coins if you want to, it doesn't really matter. And then we can go in the little cube. And there is the flagpole with the little fairy. And we can grab all the coins. And then we can do the little cat jump and get the golden flag. And we have saved the first fairy. I don't know any of the fairy's names at all. I know they're Sprixies. That's all. Oh, oh no, anything else about I don't know their names. We got the Bowser stamp now. Yay. Oh, there's a little car in the thing. That's cool. Oh, 
Okay, so there is World 1 of Super Mario 3D World. Right there. And then, yeah, why not the Strict Sea can build a pipe? Which is pretty neat. There we go. And built a pipe. So that was episode 1. World 1 of Super Mario 3D World. Um, I'm going to check out what's going to happen next time. Which it's going to be World 2, which is the desert. Which we got to save that Sprixie next time. So, that is episode 1. Um, World 1 of Super Mario 3D World. 100% run. Um... So, if you like the video, please hit that like button, and if you want to hit the subscribe button to see more of my content, you can do that as well. So, leave a comment below saying if you would want another game that you would want me to see me play. So, that's it for now. Till next time. Bye!